Good evening, Lake Erie Council. My name is Jared Blundy, and I am here with a special guest today. Mike, how are you doing, Mike? Pretty good. How are you guys doing? Oh, I am doing fantastic. I have been looking forward to this skills demo for quite a while. So tell us a little about what we're going to do today. Well, we're going to launch some rockets today, a couple of them, or maybe three of them, uh, just to get uh, people excited about rocketry. And, you know, we have all these uh, great things happening with SpaceX and uh, Mission to Mars and all that stuff. And and basically, it started from uh, 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 individuals uh, many, many moons ago just thinking about uh, rocketry. And, uh, and uh, you know, October Sky, uh, that's a true story. Uh, if you ever want to watch that movie, that's pretty neat. And that's pretty yeah, much yeah. how uh, my rocketry Rocket Boys, started. Right? And Rocket Boys, yep. Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Well, I'm, I'm excited to uh, learn a little bit about rocketry and, and uh, see a cool launch day. We've got some pretty okay weather for this. Looks look like we're going to yeah, have a good launch. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's okay. It's good. We, uh, <laughs> we're within margins. Awesome. So. Well, uh, for folks that are joining us live, if you have any questions for Mike, who is our, our master in rocketry here, be sure to put them in the Facebook comments and uh, we'll try and answer them live. But Mike, I have a couple questions for you, if that's okay. Sure. Awesome. Well, I, I, for one, I hear you have quite a collection of rockets. What got you interested in uh, starting with this cool sport? Well, I was always interested in space um, and uh, rocketry itself. So I started pretty much in junior high um, doing rocketry when I was in, uh, you know, a graphic arts class. And I was always interested in it. Uh, I did some rocketry at, uh, uh, soon after that, but then I let it go a little bit. But when I got uh, married and had kids and and I was fortunate to have a have boys and got back into it and uh, uh, started with scouting and uh, it's taken off again from there. So I've been doing it again, well, straight through for about 25 years again. So I have quite a few collections. I build my own uh, under the specs that you would see from uh, any of the rocket companies, but uh, uh, I build a lot. I'm a SpaceX uh, Merit Badge Counselor for, uh, for the council and I've done a lot of rockets. So, yeah. So uh, you sent uh, me a couple of pictures earlier of your collection that I'm uh, sharing now with with the, our folks online. Uh, yeah. And uh, you were telling me earlier that you made all these. Yeah, I make them all. Um, those most of those up there are made from scratch. Uh, a lot of them up there are clear rockets, which uh, have names of astronauts and cosmonauts that have passed away in in the space exploration and in, in, um, accidents of launching uh, rockets. So we've um, uh, usually when I do a big launch or something like that, I have one or two of them in there because it's always, I always, uh, it's a, uh, um, um, you know, giving uh, kudos to them, uh, always having a, a, one of their rockets uh, with their names on it being launched. Um, so I've been doing that for many, many years. Um, the first time I did it, we did it at a, what we had rocket day and uh, had a rocket for each one of them. And, I'll, you know, at that time there was 26 or 30 astronauts at the time that had passed away at uh, that. So, that was a major launch. Uh, we did that at the, at, uh, at the community college. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but I still try to put uh, some of those together um, and launch them for when I do uh, different launches for scouts or anybody that asks me to do it or, or, uh, or I just go out and launch a few myself. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm seeing at least 20 rockets here that you've made, but I, you said that's a small, small uh, percentage yeah, I have, of your collection. Yeah. Yeah, I probably have 40 or 50 rockets that I could probably put together within, you know, or do safety checks on them and, and probably launch and get them ready for launch down the road, you know. Um, mm -hmm. I make them so the fins can be, you know, if they, they're easily, if they break off, they can be easily glued back on. Um, but I do, when I do uh, some rocketry and kits, um, you'll see one of them here today. When uh, at 2005, we, uh, we did uh, a few of us from the old Heart of Ohio Council, we went to the Jamboree and did the, the SpaceX merit badge there. And uh, SD's kind of, I think it was uh, anywhere from 2,000 or 4,000 rockets. I can't remember uh, that they delivered to us and we built hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. Um, but uh, 200 and 200 some uh, scouts got their merit badge to there. So that was a nice accomplishment but for the week and a half we were there. That's pretty cool. I, I like how you've uh, incorporated your passion for rocketry into into scouting through being a merit badge counselor and going down to the Jamboree. I know that uh, shooting rockets off at summer camp for our Cub Scouts is a huge, uh, huge hit as well. They always love the, 
our air compressor machine that uh, blows up these two liter bottles that uh, they get to decorate and shoot them into the air. Yeah, this was a little bit more than that. <laughs> yeah, so I see him peeking out behind you there. What, what, what have you got to show us? Well, we have, uh, we have this bread rocket. I probably launched it about 30, 30 some time since I built it. Um, um, today we're gonna launch it with a D engine if it, if it goes off properly. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is uh, an SD, some regular main rocket. These other ones here are uh, smaller. These are kits. These are the kind of kits I can recommend. This one here, it's called a Genesis um, okay, uh, 2E um, rocket kit. It's very easy to build for uh, doing it if you're doing it. that a little higher for us? Yeah, so this is, this is, this is the rocket right here. Oh, this perfect. is the yep. kit for it, this is what happens. Okay, it's a very, it's very nice. It's an easy kit to build. It's got the solid, solid fins and the engine compartment is fairly easy to build um, and uh, you, you can build them to get them back to, you know um, and then this uh, this one here is similar to that uh, just with a, a little larger than that but these are going to be with the A8 engines A8 engines A3s which is when I get out of my pocket um, which is quite a little smaller and it doesn't have all the all the fuel in it uh, so it's a lot smaller, but these uh, have three or four different sizes uh, for how high you can do it. This is one of the smaller ones. So the, uh, the, and then, the larger uh, the letter, the the bigger the engine. The longer it's going to do, and then and then this one here can fit this bigger one in here, but I'm not going to do that one today. This is a um, these are expensive to get a little bit, but I do buy them periodically uh, because then it goes quite a bit higher. Uh, uh, over over a thousand fifteen hundred feet, maybe more, depending on the wind and how it gets goes off the launch pad or not. So, is that the is that the most powerful rocket or the biggest rocket, the most powerful engine that you own, or how how high can they go? No, no, they're ideal. They, they can go up. There's um, there's guys that uh, go into high power, what they call high power rocketry. Um, you need to be uh, uh, that's a big commitment with commitment with money and stuff like that. It's that part of the um, which I can do that, but I figure I went down to this way so I can do more launches and do that uh, uh, that way. Um, it's probably uh, a little more regulated too, huh? Yeah, and it's not so much uh, at the, uh, after 9-11 it was, but uh, it, it, it is in ways. I mean, you, you can't be reckless about it. You have to be smart and you have to run by the rules um, on how you uh, build these things. Uh, obviously, we build them with no metal. They're mostly cardboard and plastic. Um, and... Uh, you have to use the proper fire retardant uh, uh, charges because, you know, these kind of rockets they they have a, they have another charge afterwards. You know, they launch with the, with fuel, and then there's an, a secondary charge, um, and that uh, knocks out the parachute or the recovery system, as they say. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, you want to get your rocket back, and that's how that works. Cool. So uh, you said uh, uh, fire retardant. Is there any other safety concerns that you uh, you you want to think about when shooting off rockets? Like well, these? there's when you whenever you, when you buy the when you buy the uh, kits, they tell you uh, you know your parameters. Obviously, you can't do it when it's really really windy out or um, uh, or adverse conditions. You can't do it at at night or even at dusk. You gotta you know during the day. Um, you obviously can't do it around airports. Um, um, you know, and you have to, when you're ready to launch, you have to look at the sky and see that the, everything's around you. Nothing's around you. I mean, even the bird, if a bird's flying around, you don't want to launch and hit a bird or anything like that. So you got to watch and you got to go uh, with the rules of uh, flying. Looks like it's a good social uh, distancing to, have activity. A, what? It's a good social distancing activity. You got to make sure there's nobody around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got to be back a little bit. Obviously, I don't have anybody here with me right today. Uh, I was hoping for one of my sons to show up when, I, when we get ready to launch this. Uh, but they're still not here yet, but uh, we'll do what we can. We'll uh, try to hold it up. And, and if you can guide me, if you can see the, if we have to do that, uh, uh, make sure I'm, make sure you can see it in the, in the frame for me when we're doing this. Sure. Um, but uh, that's how we do this. Uh, um, you know, if you're a, a, a scout age, um, you, if you want to do this merit badge, let, you know, you, I'm on the, on the list and uh I usually do them at uh, some of the Merit Badge, uh, uh, what do you call them? Uh, we used to call them Merit Badge Midways. Merit Weekends, Merit Badge Universities. Merit Badge Weekends, is that what we call them now? So mm -hmm. there you go. 
Awesome. Well, we're, we're maybe a minute or two away from our launch here. I was going to ask you one more question. If you can kind of walk us sure. through what's happening from the beginning to the end of, uh, of the sure. launch here and then what, what you're doing to make the, the rocket go and then we'll get to see it in action. So when you buy, so if you want to buy an SD kit that has everything in it, the launch and everything, it, that might be your biggest expense mm -hmm. because you have to have a launch, uh, launch apparatus. Um, and, um, after that because you have to have uh, you have to have the, the, the rods and everything so that that would be your first investment and you can probably get a kit around 20 25 dollars with a with a rocket in it and all the things that you would need to launch it and what they have they, they would have a, a wire to it and launching now i make my own um uh systems like this i don't know if you can see that uh yeah. this will be lit this will be lit up and you need power to it whereas it, most of those are with d d cell batteries um Whereas I, I bring a, a, you know, rechargeable that would launch, uh, start your car up. Uh, I do that. Um, and then we have, you have a little, um, in each engine, you have to have electrodes that light up to light the engine. And they, these will get connected to them one at a time to see what happens. Do so what we'll do. A little bit lower on those rockets. We'll see, we can see what you're doing. There we are. Yep. Okay, is that good? Okay, yep, that's great. Yeah, just tell me when you, because uh, I'm, this is when I wish I had somebody here. So what we do is you hit one of them here, mm -hmm. and I'm doing this all one-handed. You can't have them touch ahead of time, so you have to have them like that. So, so I have this, is so you can see that they're that rubber in between them. Okay, so because the, there's got to be a le electronic uh, current that goes through there. Okay. You yep. see that? I do. All right. So we're, uh, I'm going to move this out of the way. So we're ready to launch that one. Fantastic. So if you. Okay. Let's, so uh, maybe you can turn your, uh, your camera around so we can see. How do you. From the, the back camera. Okay. How do I do that? <laughs> uh, so tap the screen once and then on the, I think in the upper left, there's a little icon to flip it around. Well, now you're telling me something. Okay, that's headphones. Let me let's see. Touch it again. I don't know where it's at. Am I? I don't want to do anything bad. What's it look like? Because this is different than the. Uh, okay, I got it. I found it. Is that better? There we go. Okay, there we yep. go. All right. Are we right in the screen? We are Good? right in right in view. All right. So we're gonna go here with a uh, five, four, four, three, three. Two, one, liftoff. Oh no! I hear a beeping. Yeah, it's not doing it for me. All right, hold on. We always go back with. I always come back with page uh, with a uh, backup battery. Uh -huh. I was all That's set what... with that. Hold Scouts on. Are prepared. Oh yeah. If not, I'll roll my car over there and we'll hook it up to my my uh, my engine to my car. Should have hit. Should have went off. It might be because of the uh, dampness here. Yeah, it might be a little so chilly we'll or something. No, the dampness in the water here may have shorted it out over my end over here. Oh, gotcha. So I know you had some rain before we got started. Yep. So we'll double check. Okay, let's try again. We'll go with a three count. All right. Three, two, two, one. Whoa, man, that took off fast. I don't know, can you see it? They're coming down. Yep, Woo! there it is. Oh, nice. All right. Very cool. That's a nice one. All right, well, so let's try with the next one here. All right, next, next biggest size. <sighs> yep. There oh, we Mike, go. Is one, of those, is one of those a ground? Is that what you're saying? Well, no, it's uh, it's just to keep it just closes the current and the DC current. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a ground. It's just that I don't want to ground it. I when you heard me say I don't want to ground it out. So this is a metal right here, and if the metals are, um, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So if these were touching, then it would ground it out and it would short out the circuit. So, all right, we'll try another one here. All right, I'm excited. All right, we're 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 uh, so you can see we got a live light there. Look at that. We're good. Very good. All right. All right, we'll try this again. Three, two, one, one, 
launch. No. Okay, something shortening out. All right. Well, let's try to the other uh, launch pad. Yep. It's a combination of a couple old ones put together just with a table. We're going to try getting this big one right away. All right, let's do it. Let's see if we can. Hard working with one hand. <laughs> I understand. So you can see what we're doing here. All right, let's we'll see what happens there now. We got a good light. We had a good light on the other one. All right, let's try. Let's we'll see if we can get another one. All right, let's do Three, it. Three, two, two, one, launch. No, please. All right. Let's try back to this one here. Let's try back to my other one and I'll leave it off the ground here. Hold on. What are some of the oh, issues that, of that you can launch. run into? Oh yeah, all the time. This is nothing. Uh, this is nothing new. Having um, la having the uh, huh. what kind of th what kind of things do you have to do? You, uh, do you have to troubleshoot troubleshoot in these situations? Uh, the what I'm doing right here. Uh huh. Yeah, with the with the uh, when you put the igniter in there. Well, we can do real quick. Let me see or how I can put you down. If you can That's okay. serve some time there. Mm -hmm. I want to get to, I want to really try to get this one off the ground here. I'll just put it like I put a new igniter in. Okay. Yeah, that was, that igniter burnt. So it went off and nothing happened. Ah, uh, so the, the, uh, the current, the current was, uh, was made complete, but it didn't have the uh, the discharge necessary to ignite the engine. That's what it sounds like. But I know Mikey's got backup engines, backup batteries. Let's see what we can do. All right, so I put a new igniter in. We'll see if that works. All right. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see any of this. So I'm putting a piece of paper underneath it so it doesn't so it doesn't short out. Okay. And got another piece of paper. All right. Let me see what we got. Do we got? Yes, can you we got. Uh, before you before you do that, can you show us what you did there? Well, I put a new one of these. Uh, I put a new. Um, uh, see that little nighter down there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I put a, I put a new. The one down here was, was on there. It was already burnt, and the uh, engine didn't light. So I put a new okay. one in, and it's uh, so it can conduct the thing. So we'll try again. We'll see what we got. All right, let's do it. I may have to change the battery again, but we'll see it. Three, two, one. Nope. Let me hit the other battery. I got good. I got good contact. It's not cooperating with you, huh? Well, it's hard to do it with one hand. Okay, let's try it again. We're just going to launch. Here we go. Nope, nope. They're not getting. We're not getting enough juice in there. Ah, uh, that's okay. We got one launch, and that's uh, that's what we were hoping for. Okay. Well, I wanted the big one. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me, uh, let me try this guy again over here. Bear with me for a second. We'll try doing him again. If not, we can throw another. Uh... Oh, I'm showing the good on that one too. Let's see where we go. I'm just gonna hit it. There we go. Let's do it. Nope. Oh well. Well, we got one to go. Hey, I don't know why that's this good. One Let me see what this one is. Any questions anywhere in the book there? Uh, well, no question from our viewers yet, but uh, I, I'm interested in a little bit more about the space exploration merit badge. What more do you do besides shoot off rockets? What do you learn about? Well, we t we we talk about 
um, how uh, space exploration is, what kind of careers there are. We talk about, um, oops, we talk about, um, you know, how it began, what, what's the future for it. Um, and and we're, we're at time, if anybody's been watching all these things, I wish I could win the lottery and put my name in to fly up there. <laughs> you know, but, That's pretty cool. Yeah, that would, well, be, well, that would be awesome. While, while you're uh, troubleshooting that, I'm going to share uh, with our, our viewers here a uh, picture of a uh, build your own rocket at home. And then our video description, you can actually see, uh, we've got a link there with a video and everything to, to build a rocket out of some parts that you might find around your house. So yeah, uh, if, as long if you're able to do that, and this is an air powered rocket as opposed to a uh, engine powered rocket. So you can still do right. this from your backyard or uh, from a mm -hmm. local park. And uh, well, I got we'd love to see here. what you guys can come up with to uh, decorate your rockets and all that stuff. Oh, you ready for another launch? Yeah, real quick, I will try. We'll try it again. Yeah, let's give ready? it a try. Three, two, yep. one. There we go. Whoa, there it goes. There we go. Wow. Oh, yeah, I can see it coming down. And touchdown. Yeah. Awesome. So it's, just because it's, mo it's probably because it's moisture out here. I think that's sure, more than yeah. one of the problems. About how high why. do you think that one went? Oh, probably about uh, 200 feet, maybe. That's that awesome. one there. So... You know what I could do is uh, you go show that uh, the, how to make one, and I'll try putting a different engine in this red one real quick, and we'll try. Okay, we got time? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. That's okay. all. Uh, I'll share this uh, this picture of a build your own rocket. Let's get that pulled up here. It's made out of uh, you can see some cardboard, uh, some PVC pipe, of course, some duct tape to hold it all together. And then uh, for the engine power, again, I said it's, uh, it's air powered. So you can see that this picture, it's got a uh, uh, pop bottle attached to the PVC pipe. So you can stomp down on it, give it some good pressure to shoot it up into the air. We've made a couple of these at camp and they, they can go pretty high if you've got a big two liter bottle and uh, a great stomp. So we think that's pretty cool. Of course, if uh, you can't find these materials at your house, or uh, if you'd like to do something indoors, we, uh, we can also challenge you to do a paper airplane uh, gliding contest. So also in our video description, you'll find a link to uh, some great airplane design, paper airplane designs. So you can try out a couple different ones and see which ones fly the best, go the furthest, maybe do the most loop-to-loops. And you can share those things with us, whether you're building a rocket or a paper airplane with the hashtag scouting at home. And we'd love to see what you guys are doing at home with it. Uh, if you've been following along with our challenges for this week, you'll know that uh, we challenged our scouts on Monday to do a climbing, to climbing tower competition, which is uh, something that's near and dear to both my heart and to uh, Mike's heart here. We're both climbing directors. So we can't, see, can't wait to see what everybody's doing with uh, your at-home climbing gyms and climbing towers. And if you tune in tomorrow night, about 5.30, we'll be selecting our favorites from the, uh, from the entire week. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Boy, it's, uh, I started out with 100% battery here and I only got like 20% left, wow. All right, so we it's have, uh, okay, so we're, we, if it doesn't go this time, we'll know. Okay, so we're ready to go. New we engine, are ready. new, uh, so three, two, one. Oh yeah! Wow, you can really see that one take off. How big it is? Can you see it in the screen? Yeah, we can. Coming down. That's amazing. That's a perfect launch. It's kind of yeah, it's kind of helicoptering down. I see. Awesome. Well, thank oh, you that, so that much, Mike, sense. for uh, putting in the effort there, so we can get all three of our rockets to launch here today. Yeah. So we'll go. We'll go up to this one here and pick it up. Uh huh. And uh, you can see, yeah, right there, look at we're all set. We can put this thing back together if we were really uh, into it and we could launch it again. Everything's together, nothing broke, and it can be relaunched over and over and over. Like that, it's got a strip. Right. Okay, we're awesome.
that made well, my thank day. Thank you so much. That was that was really cool. And thank you for sharing uh, your your knowledge and expertise with us and our scouts and uh, sharing some entertainment while we're all at home still. I, I really appreciate you taking the time and and uh, putting in the energy today, Mike. There we go. I'll try to hit it back. There we go. Yes. Thank Perfect. you. Made my day. All right. Well, Mike, Thank uh, you very much. again, thank, thanks for hanging out with us today. If the folks are interested in doing the uh, Space Exploration Merit Badge once we're able to leave our homes again, uh, look for Mike as one of those counselors and uh, for future Merit Badge weekends and universities. That's uh, one of the more exciting ones and one that not everybody gets turned. All right. Appreciate it. We'll All see right, you later. Take care, Mike. Have